everyone welcome to my channel today i'll be discussing about a condition which has become very common nowadays that is pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome polycyst means multiple cyst what is cyst cyst is a fluid filled cavity so this fluid filled cavity get accumulated in the ovaries and lead to set of signs and symptoms which is called as syndrome that's why it is called as polycystic ovarian syndrome if you go to define it it goes like this it is a clinical syndrome characterized by weight gain irregular menses amenorrhea and symptoms of androgen excess such as acne and hirsutism now what are the causes for pcos first one is genetic cause second one and the most important cause is lifestyle sedentary lifestyle no exercise unhealthy food all these can lead to pcos what are the symptoms of pcos first one is weight gain obesity mainly abdominal obesity abdominal obesity is there is more fat accumulation especially around the stomach region second one is irregular menses so a regular menstrual cycle is of 28 days duration plus or minus 5 days but in people or in women suffering with pcos their menstrual cycle gets very much delayed maybe 45 or even more than 45 days and it's very irregular it's not the same every month or there can be even absence of menses which is called as amenorrhea amenorrhea means absence of menses but clinically to say that it is amenorrhea there should be no menses for a period of at least 6 months only then we can say that the lady is suffering from amenorrhea which becomes or which is an important symptom of pcos okay third one is acne fourth one is hirsutism hirsutism is male like growth of hair pattern in women that is hair growth especially on the face chest back and abdominal region in women fifth one is acanthosis nigricans that is thickening of skin and blackish pigmentation of the skin and this usually occurs in the folds of the body that is maybe around the neck or in the armpit groin or inner thigh region sixth one is these women can be in infertile as well seventh one is mood swings eighth one is depression anxiety ninth one is thinning of hair and tenth one is sleep apnea so these are the symptoms of pcos okay now if a woman has pcos and she gets pregnant then there can be some complications first one is gestational diabetes mellitus that is the woman can develop type 2 diabetes mellitus during her pregnancy second one is preeclampsia and third one is preterm delivery so delivery takes place after the completion of pregnancy that is nine after 9 months if we tell in weeks it is after usually after 38 to 40 weeks of pregnancy but in these women preterm means before the term delivery takes place maybe before 36 or 37 weeks of gestation they deliver the baby fine now how do we diagnose pcos usually we diagnose pcos based on the signs and symptoms but to confirm the diagnosis we go for the investigation and the basic investigation is usg ultrasonography and in this we find multiple cyst in the ovary and hence confirm the diagnosis what are the complications of pcos so women with pcos have a higher risk to develop certain diseases in the future i'll name them first one is diabetes mellitus second one is hypertension third one is cardiovascular disease fourth one is fatty liver disease and fifth one is obstructive sleep apnea now how to manage pcos by chance if a woman is suffering from pcos what to do main thing is lifestyle regular exercise is very important to manage pcos and weight uh, reduction or weight control techniques should be adopted and healthy diet cut off oily food cut off junk food and you know avoid eating outside or unhealthy food regularly eat more of home cooked healthy food 
even the prevention also remains the same that is adopting a healthy lifestyle regular lifestyle eating on time sleeping on time and uh, you know regular exercise weight control should be uh, you know adopted and also healthy diet so prevention and management is same in same for pcos that's it for today's video i hope this was informative if it was do share it with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to my channel and start your journey on being healthy if you have any doubts or any questions leave it in the comment section below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye